Hey everybody, Jeff Miller here, head of GMAT instruction at Target Test Prep. And today I'm excited to chat about five tips related to your GMAT focused quant preparation. So let's get started right away. Tip number one, learn about GMAT focused quant and then start with a practice test to get a baseline score. This is so important. If you jump into your GMAT focused preparation, especially on the quant side, and you don't really know what's going on, you don't really know what's tested, it's going to be very difficult to feel like you have a process moving forward with your prep. So what do you do instead? You learn about GMAT focused quant. You look about the question types that are tested in GMAT focused quant. You look at the concepts tested. Yes, I understand if you're used to the classic version of the GMAT, you might feel like things are changing a little bit, but they're not. So what you need to understand is, what are the quant topics tested on GMAT Focus and how are they tested? Once you do a few practice questions and you understand the deal with those question types, then you move on to your practice test. Now, you might be a little scared at first to take a practice test, but don't worry. The whole reason you're taking it is just to get a baseline score. That score is data. That's it. If you get a low quant score in your practice test, no worries. If you get a high quant score, great. But the point is you need your starting point so then you can look at that starting point and compare it to the finish line. And if you have that data and you know your finish line, then you can charge ahead with your GMAT focus quant study plan. Tip number two, this might be obvious, but get great study materials. So after your practice test is done, you have a plan in place. Well, how are you going to learn GMAT focus quant? Well, you're going to get the best possible study materials you can. If you're unsure what's out there, do some research. Certainly you can Google around. You can also check out sources like Reddit. There's a GMAT subreddit there. You can check out course reviews on sites such as GMAT Club. And then sign up for our trials at TTP. We have a five-day full access trial, which means our students check it out, really dig into the course before actually purchasing it for themselves. And then once you have those study materials in place, then you know that you have what you need and a plan moving forward. And remember, you don't want to try to keep mixing and matching prep materials Try to find one main resource that works for you outside of official questions and official guides, but one main resource that works for you where you feel like you really can learn and develop the knowledge you need for GMAT Focus Quant. And there's different aspects of those study materials that you probably want to look out for as well. Things like study plans, things like detailed analytics, large problem banks, um, things like review and custom tests. If, if your study materials have all these things, you'll know you're working with a great resource and it'll help you master GMAT focus quant. Tip number three, and one of my favorite tips of all time, is topical prep. Topical prep is huge. You've seen me talk about it in so many videos, I'm sure. What it means is it's pretty simple. There's a ton you need to learn in GMAT quant. I think we know this by now. If you're new to the test, you're going to find out. I mean, there's topics, statistics, rates, work, ratios, number properties, etc., cetera, etc., cetera. So if your learning is scattered in random, what's going to happen is you're never going to get the foundation you need for any one given topic. And it's going to be sparse and you're going to learn something and forget it and move on to something else and forget it. So how do you fix that? You focus on one topic at a time. So if you're learning about rates, you go in and you say, I'm going to learn all about average rates, converging rates, catch up and pass rates, et cetera, et cetera then that topical learning turns into topical practice, which means you practice 50, 60, 70 questions just on rates. And when you're done, not only should you be pretty rock solid in rates, but you'll know at a very granular level where you're weak. If in those 70 questions of practice, catch up and pass rates are getting you, or if then rates are getting you, then you know that's a weak spot. You fix, you fill in those gaps, and then you move forward with your prep. And I'm not saying you're not going to do mixed practice at some point, and I'm not saying you're not going to do review at some point, but as you're learning each topic, the name of the game is topical learning followed by topical practice. Tip number four, review what you've learned. This is key. So we just talked about topical learning. We just talked about topical practice, right? But if you just do those topics and say, I'm going to do rates, followed by work, followed by ratios, followed by percents, well, what happens when you're 12 weeks into your study plan and you haven't actually gone back 
and looked at anything else that you've done previously. Well, that's simple. You're going to forget things. So how do you fix that? There's a bunch of different ways and we're gonna talk about them now. One way, flashcards. I love flashcards. I don't care if it's an app. I don't care if you're using the flashcards on TTP, which are awesome by the way, or if you wanna just create your own kind of old school written deck of flashcards. The point is they're great because they allow you to do what I call quick hit study sessions. What are those? Well, when you're sitting at the doctor waiting in the waiting room, could you do a quick hit studying session there? Of course you could. You pull out your flashcards, you look through them. If you're even waiting in line for something, pull out your flashcards. If you're on a lunch break, pull out your flashcards. This is important because it serves as review and extra pockets of study time. If you're doing set, uh, 20 minutes a day, seven days a week of extra time, that's 140 minutes a week. That's over two hours of extra studying. And it again allows you to fill in gaps and see where you're weak. There's also mixed review of older topics. If you've done roots and exponents and number properties five weeks ago, it might be time for a mixed review problem set. You do the problem set, you see what you get wrong, that allows you to see weak areas and again, fill in gaps. So it's a process, topical learning, topical practice, review, flashcards, fill in gaps, rinse and repeat. And if you can follow that process, you're gonna be successful in GMAT Focus Quant because A, you're gonna learn stuff the right way and B, you're gonna review and make sure that nothing falls through the cracks prior to test day. Finally, tip five, practice exams. Now, what about those is important? Well, first of all, besides taking your first one as a baseline score, save the rest. GMAC, they offer six total practice exams. Two are free, four you have to purchase. But here's what's pretty cool. With these GMAT focused practice exams, for at least the ones that you pay for, you can reset and retake them and you'll see different questions twice. That means those four practice exams turn into eight plus the two free ones. That's 10 total. If you take one at the beginning, that leaves you with nine at the end. You've got to space those out appropriately. You have to take them when you're feeling fresh. But the point is, don't waste them throughout the, your prep. Don't feel like you have to take a practice test every weekend. You just want to take them when you fully finished all of your prep. That's when you're going to see how all that GMAT quant work paid off. And that's when you're gonna see your true ability level. So again, your practice tests, take the official ones, save them to the end, space them out appropriately, and you should be knocking this out of the park if you've done everything I've said in this video. So look, if you're scared about GMAT Focus Quant, don't be, it's a process. It's gonna take time, but if you can work hard, stick to your guns, do the topical learning, do your review, you will end up great on test day. I had a blast everybody talking to you about GMAT focus quant preparation tips. Hopefully you can take what you've learned in today's video, apply it to your own self-study and realize you can dominate GMAT focus quant. If you like this video, please feel free to subscribe to our channel. We have tons more videos coming out. Leave comments if you wanna hear about other videos in the future. And until next time, thank you all for watching and I will talk to everybody soon. Happy studying everybody. Thank you.